Assalamualaikum, Dr. Zakir. Uh, my name is Muhammad Niza. I recently graduated from medical college. Um, before that, uh, I would like to thank Bro Zamri and the team for making this for this program. Coming from KL, it's really worth it for this for this program. Uh, doctor, um, my question is, uh, I, I understand the law of the Quran. For example, the earth go around the sun. But when you explain about embryology, um, being a medical doctor, both of us, uh, we understand that this embryology sometimes it can uh, it can go against the law. For example, uh, Down syndrome, uh, spina bifida, due to the somites are not uh, improper of the somites. And how could we explain this, being a science, uh, being a medical doctor, and also in the religion wise? Thank you. What's your good name, brother? Muhammad Niza. Muhammad. See, one thing you should realize in the beginning of my lecture, I said that there's something like scientific facts and something like scientific theories. The scientific facts never take U-turn. Today, science says heart pumps blood. Whatever research you do, heart will yet pump blood. You may come to know more things about the heart. Heart has got four chambers, ventricle, auricle, but the heart will keep on pumping blood. There are something like hypotheses and theories. The hypotheses and theories can change. That's the reason whenever you're comparing Quran and science, you have to be very careful to talk about facts, not about theories. Can I say something? Yes. Uh, theory, I remember when you were talking about theory and law. Theory is something is not proven, right? Am I right? Is that what theory means? No, theory law is can be proven also, okay. but it's not established. Uh, uh, but, uh, theory can become a truth later on. Okay. Uh, for example, the spina bifida is something we can see. Isn't it being proven? But I don't get it. How Again. But the Quran is not a book of science. S-C-I-E-N-C. -E One brother asks, does the Quran mention about Zoroastrianism, born in so and so? This is not a book of medicine. Understood. Understood. No? Yeah. You will ask me, does it talk about epilepsy? Does the Quran talk about uh, uh, typhoid? Does the Quran talk about tuberculosis? Does it say that you have to take this metronidazole? Understood. This is not a book of Science. But whatever is there is 100% correct. But everything is not there. If everything is there, it has to be a big library. We Muslims don't read this small book. What do you read a big encyclopedia? <laughs> how many? How many have read the translation of the Quran? Raise your hand. The full translation of the Quran. Raise your hand. How many have read the full translation of the Quran? Raise your hand. Full translation of the Quran. Raise your hand. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve people in about thousand, maybe eight hundred. Twelve people in eight hundred. One and a half percent. Mashallah. How many books have we read all of here? Minimum 50, 100 books, 100 books? In our full life, we might have read more than 100 books, right or wrong? How many read more than 10 books in the life? Raise your hand. How many people read 10 books in your life? Raise your hand. 10 books in your life? Raise your hand. Or don't you understand English? How many have read 10 books in your life? Raise your hand. <laughs> Sisters, 10 books in your life. Raise your hand. MashaAllah, majority. I would say people here at least may have read minimum 100 books. But when you pass your school, only you finish so many books. That means we don't really care for the Quran. We don't care for the Quran. I told you Quran is the most positive book in the world. It's a proclamation to humanity, a fountain of mercy and wisdom, a warning to the heedless, a guide to the erring, an assurance to those in doubt, a solace to the suffering, and a hope to those in despair. 
It's not a book of signs, S-C-I-E-N-C, -E but the book of signs, S-I-G-N-S. It's a hidayah to humanity. It is the instruction manual for the human being. The do's and don'ts. So I request all of us here that at least we take uh, we take a commitment that we will finish the Quran in the next couple of months. Yes or no? Who would like to read the Quran in the next couple of months? Raise your hand. MashaAllah. Hope, hope we fulfill our commitment. Read it in the language you understand the best with understanding. If you know English, read in English. If you know Malay, read in Malay. If you know Chinese, read in Chinese. You owe it to yourself. It is the most positive book in the world. It can solve many of your problems. Different problems. Hope that answers the question.